Hello everybody. So now I'm gonna talk about the Venturi effect. So basically, this is a Venturi tube. Um, as you can see, like it gets wider, then smaller, then wider again. These right here are measuring absolute pressure, okay? I'm just making that just to make it a little bit more apparent, right? So this is obviously lower than here, right? Um, Remember that we have the, the Bernoulli's equation that says this. Oops. I'm gonna write this over here. I have a little bit more space. I'm just gonna say Z. Okay, so this right here is our Bernoulli's equation. What I want you to realize is that the height of this thing is not changing. So I can go ahead and cancel this out right here. I can say that this term is equal to this term Therefore, they don't really affect each other in the whole equation, right? And now, what I also want you to notice, because of the continuity equation that says that Q is equal to AV, so basically my Q1 is equal to Q2, right? This is point 0.1, point 0.2, right? So my Q1 is equal to my Q2. So I can say that my A1, V1, is equal to my a2 v2 right and that being said right like I said before if this is a bigger area this is a smaller area for those to be for these two terms to be equal the velocity here has to be slower than the velocity here right because these two are gone now I'm only looking at these two terms remember that these measure absolute pressure right P's are my absolute pressure right so if my V2 is bigger than my V1, this whole term is going to be greater here than it is here, right? And because of that, I know that this has to be bigger than this. If this whole thing, both sides have to be equal, this has to become smaller than this. And that's why we see that this is lower here than it is here, right? So that pressure difference, this H is a different, that's why I made that Z, right? That pressure difference and this whole effect is called the Venturi effect. So, um, let me see. Yeah, that's, that's really all you need to know. This whole thing right here is called the Venturi effect. So we really don't have to take this into account, that, that difference, because it's the same thing, right? And when just by algebra, we can cancel this out, right? If we want this whole thing to be constant, this has to be bigger than this, meaning that this has to be smaller than this. That's it. So this is called the Venturi effect. So if anything was unclear, again, please, comment in the comment section. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and let's keep learning. Thanks.